Welcome to Riverside. In this video, we're going to walk you through the entire Riverside platform, from creating a new studio to recording with your guests or co-hosts, how you can now edit that video, either in clips, vertical, or full length, even using our new transcription-based editor, and more. Riverside is the one place where you can record, edit, and share your conversations with the world. Head on over to riverside.fm in your web browser and click the login button. I feel like I recognize that guy on the homepage. If it's your first time using Riverside or you're recording a new show, click the purple Create New button in the top right corner to build a new studio. Title the studio a unique name and then choose Audio and Video or Audio Only. From here, you can hit the purple button to enter the studio and get ready to record. Even after you've created a studio, you can click the three dots here and adjust some of the settings. You can choose whether this is a private studio or public for live streaming. You can invite participants as guests, audience members, or producers. And you can even record up to 4K video quality. When you're ready, click Go to Studio to begin recording. Here in the lobby, you'll want to select your microphone, camera, and audio output. You can do that here under the video section. Choose your USB microphone or audio interface, your camera, speakers, and here on the left, choose whether or not you're using headphones. We always recommend using wired headphones when you record. And then when you're ready, click Join Studio. Now that you're in the Riverside Studio, you're almost ready to record. Invite your guests and other co-hosts to record with you by sending them a link. You can click copy link here and send that to them in an email, text, or other message. Here in the right-hand sidebar, you can see some of the settings for Riverside. If you find some of your guests have lower bandwidth and it's affecting the flow of the conversation, you could turn on low data mode. This will lower the quality of the live call, but does not affect your high quality video and audio recordings. Those are saved locally to each device, no matter what happens during the live call. Under each participant, you can expand that menu and see what video, audio, and speaker device each participant is using. Here at the bottom, you can also access our chat feature where you can chat with everyone who's on the call. Here you can also access the media board where you can upload video or audio files to present during the recording. You'll get a separate track for all of those files when you're done. Here at the bottom, before you start recording, you can still change your microphone, camera, or speaker output. And we also have a share button so you can share your screen. And if you're on one of our Riverside business plans, you can use the new presentation recorder. You can upload a keynote, PowerPoint, or PDF file and present slides during a recording. Those slides will be recorded in a separate track that you can then download from the recordings page after the call. When all your guests have arrived and you're ready to record, click the record button at the bottom. You'll see a countdown appear over your video. And now you're recording with Riverside. You'll see a recording light up at the top as well as the upload progress and all of your guests in the sidebar will also have a recording tab. When you're done recording, click the stop button at the bottom. Then everyone's high quality video and audio files will continue to upload to the cloud. Once you've seen that upload is complete, you can go to the Riverside recordings page and edit from there. Back on our studio listings page, I'm going to click view recordings for that studio. Now I'll see all the past recordings and episodes right here, and I can click one of them to begin editing. Here on the recordings page, we have some exciting features. You'll see a transcript preview right here at the top. You can download a transcript file either in text or SRT format, which is great for YouTube subtitles. If you'd like to learn more about using SRT for YouTube, you can check out the video above or in the description. If you scroll down, you can click high quality and download the raw video and raw uncompressed audio for each guest participant. Even the screen shares and media board files will all get separate tracks. Download the individual files here, or you can click export at the top and you can send all of the video and audio files to Adobe Premiere for further editing. If you'd like to share access to these recordings, maybe to an editor or producer, you can click this share button with the paperclip icon, send that link, and they don't even need a Riverside account. They'll just be able to load the page and download the video and audio files for editing. Click the three dots and you'll be able to see additional options like renaming this recording, copying the recording ID for our support team, or if a guest closed their laptop before the upload finished, you can send them the upload page link and you can finish getting their recordings. But one of the powerful new features is our new text-based editor. Click Edit and Create Clips in the top right corner. Here you can choose the format of the video, vertical for Reels and TikTok, but I'm gonna go full length because I'm gonna upload this to YouTube. And now you'll see the brand new Riverside Editor. I can title the clip in the top left corner and I still have all the powerful controls for changing the layout of my video. I can choose to go 916 for Reels and TikTok, or back to 16 by nine for YouTube. I can choose which tracks I'd like to display, whether one co-host or both side by side, plus any screen shares or media board items. In the layout option, I can still choose no gaps or adding gaps between the video. You can choose one of our AI speaker layouts, which will have the active speaker large and others in picture in picture. And you can upload custom images for the background. You can even upload your own branding and graphics to add onto the clips. You can drag it wherever you'd like and resize it. But the real magic happens when you edit via the transcription here on the left side. Again, our AI transcriptions are available in over 100 languages and they're generated by AI, so they're incredibly accurate 
and separate it by speaker. I can scroll through the transcript here on the left, and when I click a certain portion of the text, you'll see the playhead at the bottom actually jump to that point in the timeline. When I scroll to a specific portion of the recording, if I'd like to remove a section, like this sentence right here, I can just select the text, hit the delete key on the keyboard, or click the delete option here, and now that portion is removed from the clip I'm going to export. You'll also see at the bottom that the timeline reflects the portion that I just deleted via text. If I made a mistake, I can just click revert and it comes back. I'll select it and hit the delete key again so that part is removed from the recording. You can also find specific words or phrases in the transcript by clicking the search box in the top right. You can search for a word or phrase. I'll search for a bookshelf and it will show me the four times that that word was spoken during the recording. I can use the up and down arrows to scroll to every instance of that word in the transcript. And you can see at the bottom, the timeline actually reflects where those words were spoken and who said it. You'll see the speaker name here and the segment of text. I can click there and you'll see the word is also highlighted in the transcript. You can also split the timeline here at the bottom by putting the playhead where you'd like and click split. And then you have another section of the recording you can change the in and out points. When you export this clip, any of the sections that are grayed out will not be included in the final export. If you'd like, you can also select a segment of the recording and hit delete and that will disappear. You'll also see the removed portions are reflected in the transcript by a strikeout through all the text. I'll X out of the search here at the top and maybe I'm looking just for a minute long clip. Well, I can drag the in and out points here in the timeline and you'll see the words in the transcript live reflect what will be included with this in and out point. I can drag the in point exactly where I would like so it includes what I'm saying, drag the out point as well. And now when I export this clip, I can know this is exactly what I'm saying in the clip. I can even reformat this as a vertical clip for Reels and TikTok. And now I can export just this short video and share it on all of my social media accounts. I can preview the clip to make sure it's exactly what I would like and then I'm ready to export. And if you'd like to start over with all of your edits and cuts, click the start over button in the bottom right hand corner. You can reset the timeline and now I have the full transcript and the full video and audio files to edit. When I'm ready to export this video, I can click export in the top right, export up to 4K video, normalize audio levels, which will try to make all the speakers have the same volume, remove any background noise if necessary and remove the Riverside watermark. When I click export, I'll get an email in just a few minutes when this video is ready to download. And that's a quick walkthrough of the brand new Riverside. It's the one place where you can record, edit, and share your conversations with the world. Our new text-based editor makes it super fast and easy to edit your content quickly without even listening to it. If you'd like to learn more about Riverside or maybe you need to create a video podcast in your studio or you'd like to learn how to monetize or grow your podcast, subscribe to the Riverside YouTube channel. We have lots of videos on all of that, including USB mics, how to use your mobile phone for professional video and audio, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.